Hi everybody, this is Miss Sarah from the Fayetteville Public Library and this is Kids in the Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make pizza roll-ups. Kids in the Kitchen is part of our Summer Reading Club 2020. We're so glad that you have joined us this summer. Be sure to check out our calendar at faylib.org forward slash calendar for all of our events. Well guys, today I'm going to show you how to make pizza roll-ups. Pizza roll-ups are a super fast lunch or snack idea and it does not have to be pizza. You could make them with turkey and cheese. Any kind of meat and cheese would probably be good. It would be like a grilled cheese sandwich. Or you can make them sweet. I'm thinking maybe bananas, cinnamon, chocolate chips, Nutella, not all that combined. Maybe just pick one or two of those and you can make these. They're really good, they're really easy, and they're a lot of fun. So today we are going to use a skillet and a stove top. So be careful of your fingers. Make sure you don't touch anything that's too hot or get an adult to help you. But otherwise, these are a super easy snack or lunch that you can make yourself and I hope you will try it. Okay, let's get started. Here are the ingredients you need to make pizza roll-ups. The first thing you want to do is roll out your bread with a rolling pin. The next thing that you will do is cut the crusts off of your bread. Get really close to the edge of the crust when you cut it so that you have as much bread as possible left. Sometimes after you do this, it's a good idea to roll it out just a few more times. There we go, nice and thin. Here's a tip, if you don't have a rolling pin, you can use a cup from your kitchen. And sometimes it will stick to it just a little bit, but mostly it works great. I cut my pepperoni into small pieces to make it a little bit easier to work with. Everything that you put inside a pizza roll up needs to be small, otherwise it will burst open. Looks like you're ready to put your ingredients on your roll up. First start with the cheese and just put it in one layer, nice and smooth. Nothing in a pizza roll up can be too big or it will pop open. Add your pepperoni or whatever other topping you're using. Once your ingredients are added, you can roll up your roll up. Be sure to hold the ingredients in as you roll it up. You just don't want them to fall out the middle. After you have it in a roll, you want to press the bread a little bit to seal it. Again, you're just trying to keep it from falling out. Add a little bit of butter in your skillet. Let it melt. And then add your roll-ups. Go ahead and add them seam side down. You don't want your ingredients to fall out or your roll-up to pop open. Let it cook until it's golden brown and then you're ready to flip it and cook the other side. After you flip it, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and press your roll-up down a little bit. It just helps them hold together. Go ahead and cook until both sides are golden brown and then your roll-up is ready. I cut these a little bit big, but you can usually get four pieces out of each piece of bread. Put them on a plate, add a little marinara, and there you go. Looks really good. You're ready to try it. Oh yeah, it is good. Here's another idea for a roll up. How about grilled cheese? Go ahead and roll out your bread. Cut the crusts off your bread and layer your cheese. Remember, you want your cheese to be a flat, single layer. You can't put too much on in one spot 
or your roll up will pop open. Looks like you're ready to roll it. Remember, you've got to hold your cheese in as you roll, otherwise it will all fall out one end. After you have it rolled, press your bread closed. There you go. Put a little bit of butter in your skillet and let it melt. And then you are ready to add your roll up. You're going to cook it on both sides until it's golden brown. Here we go. This grilled cheese roll up is looking good. This time I got four pieces out of it. Here, I made a few more and I put them all on a plate. Grilled cheese is also pretty good with marinara sauce, especially if you heat it up. There you go. That looks like a perfect snack. Here's a few more ideas I thought of for roll-ups. Not all of them have to be pizza or cheese. I'm thinking bananas would be really good. Well guys, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you had a lot of fun in the kitchen and I hope you try to make pizza roll-ups or whatever kind of roll-up you think sounds good. Thanks so much for joining us and I'll see you soon. Bye.